What's up everyone? This is Mini and today I'm coming at you with my recommendations for what mods you should run in World of Warships. Before we get into the video, quick reminder, don't forget to like the video, make sure to subscribe to my channel to help me keep making great content, and leave me a comment down below if you have any thoughts. Now, mods in Wargaming are a source of debate. You have players that say the only way to play WoWs is to play it vanilla, with no mods whatever in Warships. You have players that use tons of mods. I tend to use some mods, some that are just for pure aesthetic purposes as well as some that help me in battle. All of these mods are available on Mod Station. You can also catch them on Aslan's uh, if you use that, but I prefer the official Mod Station. Choice is up to you. Anyway, first mod and a mod that is so valuable, I really think this should just be in the base game. Score Timer. Score Timer works at the top. It'll show you how long until your team or the enemy team wins. This is great because it calculates the number of points you're scoring from caps versus the time left to show you who's gonna win. I cannot tell you guys the number of times that I've been able to use this mod to tell me, hey, you need to push another cap because you guys are gonna lose by the skin of your teeth if you don't. Or, hey, even though you only have one cap and the enemy has two, you're still gonna win, just keep them out of your cap. This mod is absolutely critical and it takes up just the tiniest amount of space at the top of your screen, so it's nice and unobtrusive. The next mod I recommend is Regen Assistant. Regen Assistant helps you out by telling you how many hit points you can recover rather than just leaving you with a gray line. In the normal game, you have this gray line saying, oh, you can recover up to here, which you can make an estimate, but are you really getting the most worth out of your heals? This one tells you because it shows you how much you can recover without a signal or if you have the India Delta flag equipped, how much you can recover there. And at the top, it shows you how much you can recover total at the moment. So if this isn't showing the same numbers down here, it means that my heal's not being as effective as it could be and it might not be a bad idea to wait. This really helps you maximize and get the most bang for your buck out of your heals. The third mod I like is Running Lights. I love Running Lights because it helps with when you're firing at distances, tell what the ship is doing, especially when you're battling a DD that's trying to speed juke or battleships and it's just hard to tell. Are they going in? Are they stopped? Are they backing up? A red light above the ship means that it is reversing. Yellow light means it is sitting still and a green light means it is going forward. Real quick makes a lot less guessing for you and it helps out a ton. Now, my fourth mod I recommend is the Navigator mod. Navigator mod is really nice because what it does is it displays the relative angle of the ship you are targeting to your ship. So if you see that ship's at that 60 to 75 degree angle, you know you're gonna be ricocheting and you can wait until it turns enough that you're gonna be able to pen that ship instead of wasting your shots. It's a really nice one. I go back and forth on using it myself because I already have a bunch of mods, but I cannot recommend this mod enough. I loved it when I have used it and I still do use it on occasion. The final mod I'll recommend is a minimap mod and this is the auto spy minimap mod. The reason I love this modification is because of the amount of information it can give and its flexibility on you choosing what information you hear and see. Now, what this means, if you look here as we look at it, you'll see that you can configure your main battery firing range, torpedo range, sonar action, secondary, AA guns, hydro, surveillance, detectability, detectability and smoke. All of those ranges you can show or decide you don't want to show and you can change the colors so that you can know what you're seeing as well as you can as you see here have circles filled in you can have dashes you can have heavy circles you've got options you don't have to show all of them and you could if you want to though i found this became confusing show allied ships and enemy ships the other advantages it have is one it pairs in nicely with running lights because you can also look at your mini map here and see if it is going forward if it is stopped or if it is going backwards. Additionally, being able to change your minimap targeting indicator is really nice, but one of the best things about it is you can enable it that when you are locked onto an enemy ship, you will be able to see that enemy ship speed, maximum firing range of main guns, torpedo range, and if it has hydro or radar and the max range those go. 
So in the heat of a battle, when you're not sure if that ship you're fighting has hydro and whether it's a five and a half kilometer hydro or a six, being able to lock onto that ship and look over and see exactly what it has, has helped me so many times. Now, those are my five most recommended mods. I hope those help you. If you're looking for a sixth mod that didn't quite make the list but is an honorable mention, I do love Team HP just to be able to see how many hit points we have versus the enemy. Do bear in mind with that the fact that it does not update unless you can see the enemy ships. So it'll sit at a level and then it'll adjust once enemy ships come back into view, which makes it harder when using a surface ship. But, ladies and gentlemen, those are the mods I recommend. Hope this helps you. Don't forget to like the video, follow the channel, and make sure, ladies and gentlemen, to leave me a comment down below telling me what mods you use, or if you're a vanilla player that doesn't use any mods. This is Mini, signing off.